What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My wife and I have done craft shows for several years now, but we never really took the time to build ourselves any sort of displays. We kind of just tossed some stuff out on the table and sold as best as we could. All of that changes now. Today I'm going to be making a couple of craft show walls and each one of these walls is only going to take one sheet of plywood. All right, so all of the holes are made and they can be accessible from front and back. And that's the most important point. I'm gonna drill halfway through the plywood and then flip it over, drill the other half out. That way, there'll be a nice clean finish on each side and no plywood is gonna blow out on either side. It's beautiful. Everybody give a round of applause to my three-year-old daughter, Colby. This is her videographer debut and now she can officially be credited as a part of the Reformation Woodshop media team. This particular wall I'm working on was cut from a 4x8 sheet of plywood. I cut it down to 4x4 with the extra 4x4 that was left over. I cut a strip at about 15 inches, cut half circles out of it, and those ended up becoming the two feet. You're going to take a 3 quarter inch chunk out of them halfway through. Then you take those feet to your storage wall. You can measure or you can just transfer the marks like I usually do. Cut it out of the storage wall, and there you have it. They should fit together perfectly. And after a little jigsaw work, POW! It's not bad. It's not bad. Let's see. Uh, let's see the fit. Watch it be just completely horrendous. We're in. Look, 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 look. Let me give you that oh, 0.5. Oh my goodness! Look at that joint. I'm literally the greatest woodworker that you've ever seen on YouTube. True or false? Better say true. Because we put one inch holes in our storage wall, we're gonna be utilizing one inch dowels to hang everything that we need to on it. I had these guys laying around. They're a little dingy and dirty. I'm gonna sand them clean, make them nice and pretty so that everything is nice and presentable. Now it is time for a real world test. Setting up on site was actually pretty easy. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more difficult. Doing the feet by myself was not as easy as I'd liked it to be, but everything came together pretty good. I made little shelves for these dowels because I didn't want to just have things hanging. I wanted to have things sitting as well and have a different dynamic to the storage wall. I really like the dimension that this adds to my storefront and I can definitely see myself adding more of these to make my booth pop. I actually ended up making two of these walls, one for myself and a slimmer one for my wife with a little bit of her branding on it, which gave me a couple of ideas for some improvements. After loading and unloading and setting up and tearing down and loading and unloading and setting up and tearing down and setting up and tearing down and just utilizing these storage walls for several craft shows, I felt like they were missing a few things. So we made it through our craft shows for the year and because of that I have improvements I'd like to make and add to the video. So my loss is your gain. I'm not going to get to use these right away, um, but you will if you're following this video. So first things first, I need a way to dictate the space inside the craft show. I don't need more space, I need to be able to control traffic. So I'm going to add hinges to the two walls that I've already made. That way when I set them up, I can shape our booth in a specific way. And if I decide I just need more wall, I can flip this structure around and just have one long flat wall. Addition number two is not really a fix, but it is a cool idea that I had so I can shamelessly plug my YouTube channel. I'm taking one of the cutoffs from the original 4x8 sheet of plywood and I'm going to go ahead and add it to the top of one of the existing storage walls. The way that I'm going to get my additional piece up here on top, I have marked where I put these braces right here. That's where they'll line up right there. I'm going to build a little casing with these pieces here one will go there one will go there as those go on there i will put a strapping across it and it will hold it all together you may not have a youtube channel you may not have social media and you don't need them to come to a website you can double your product storage using this exact same technique if you don't want to stand an eight foot tall sheet of plywood up and put holes all in it 
you can actually rip an eight foot sheet of plywood in half, stack it on top of each other to have a tall storage wall. And then when it's time to put everything away, you can take it apart and put it in your storage. It just makes setup and tear down super easy. Because I have a channel, I'm gonna utilize whatever time I get with customers to point them there. Man, this thing looks official, official, doesn't it? That's not all, I've got one more touch. I made a little slot for my iPad so it can play a video and show a QR code to my YouTube or Linktree so that whoever's interested could find what I'm working on currently. If you're doing craft shows and trying to figure out a better way to display all the products that you make, I hope this video serves you well. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.